everybody, it's Savvy. Welcome to episode 3 of my Meet Me Monday series. Today I'll be talking to you guys about some of my favorite YouTubers and some of the channels that I've subscribed to. But first of all, I would like to apologize because I haven't posted any covers or anything in like the past month. Uh, I did post an original, but still, I apologize because I've been kind of stressed out with my two gigs that I've been doing. And then I've had my vlogs that I've uploaded for you guys to kind of get to know me a little bit better. And then me trying to uh, work on getting this video filmed so I can post it for you guys. Because uh, I'm trying to kind of stay with the schedule that I've made for myself to keep doing this Meet Me Monday series. And not end up posting a week's Meet Me Monday episode on like a Wednesday or something like the first one. So I'm hoping to get a few covers in this week or next week or so. But um, without further ado... I'll be talking again. I'll be talking to you guys about some of my favorite YouTubers and some of the channels that I follow. And if you're hearing a thumping sound, that's just me clicking stuff uh, so I can scroll. Uh, but yeah, I follow a lot of different channels, a lot of different uh, YouTubers and such. And I kind of have a wide variety that I like to follow because I thought I'm a big gamer, and some people don't know this, but um, I follow three gamers. Uh, gamer YouTubers, whatever you want to call him. Uh, my number one would be Jacksepticeye, though. Coincidentally, I, he was the first person that I subbed to. Um, I kind of learned about him through uh, my dad watching his content, and he's hilarious, and I'd say he's my favorite just because he's very comedic, and he's very caring about his fans, as well as Markiplier, who I also follow, although I'm not, uh, I don't watch his videos as prevalently as I do with Jacksepticeye. And then I also do follow PewDiePie, um, although I don't watch his uh, as much as Jack either. Um, but yeah, I follow all three of them and Jack would definitely be my favorite out of the three. Uh, and then the next part of this, I wanted to kind of show you guys some of the vloggers that I follow. Uh, Zoella's right here and I have Troy Sivan and Connor Franta and Tyler Oakley. And sadly, uh, Troy Savon hasn't really uploaded anything vlog-wise in a while just because of his music career, and I love his music. He's just got his own way of writing, and it's very poetic in a way, and I, I admire that a lot. Um, and so I made kind of like a list of vloggers that I love to follow, and I would say that Connor Franta is probably my number one, Tyler being my number two, and Troy Savon being my number three. But um, I guess I like Connor a lot just because he, he writes... Um, his own like work and stuff and I love his book note to self I haven't finished it yet but what I've read so far I love it very much and I love Troy as well um, but Tyler was the first one that I watched out of the three of them I think Troy coming second and Connor coming third but um, yeah I'm kind of basing it off of how frequently I watch their videos uh, Connor more so since he I think he uploads a little bit more than those other two um, and then the next two down my list, I also follow, I also follow uh, Marcia, she's Felix's uh, girlfriend, PewDiePie, and uh, I love her content because she's like, she's adorable, she's got her own little style, and I always love her videos because then I'm always like, I really want to wear that, it's adorable, and then she does uh, little makeup, makeup tutorials, I think, and she does some... Um, uh, cooking videos. She's kind of got a wide variety and she does a lot of different vlogs on uh, like sometimes on her daily routine, her uh, daily like makeup look or something like that. And she's got a lot of videos with Felix and they're adorable together. I love them so much. Um, <laughs> and then next on my list I also have Weeshu. I gotta find her. Weeshu is Sean or Jacksepticeye's girlfriend and of course I heard about her through him. She was kind of recommended to me in my YouTube recommendations, I guess you would call that. Um, but I love her videos with him and they recently, or she recently uploaded a video on their trip to Disneyland and I loved it. It was adorable. And she's also kind of got her own little style too and they've, she's got some video, other videos with Sean as well. Um, and then the next two down the list are also a couple, uh, which are David Dobrik and Liza Koshy. Of course, I heard about David through Liza. I had found like a video of him uh, reacting or trying to reenact some of her musicallys, and I loved it so much. And there was a part where he's like, "She looks so sad." I was about to call her, but then it was kind of just along with whatever musically she was doing, and um, he's pretty funny, and so was she. Uh, and then also the next two 
that I've subscribed to were the more recent ones that I've subbed to. Uh, Thomas Sanders, I subbed to him the other day. I didn't even know that he had a YouTube channel. I just knew that he had like a Vine, but of course, Vine isn't really up there anymore, I guess. It kind of just died out, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I love his content too. He's very like flamboyant and whatnot. And um, yeah, I like him. And then I heard about uh, Doddle, Doddle Oddle or Dodie, uh, through him I saw that she did a duet with him and John Kozar and I love her voice and I just love her style and it's very unique and her writing is very, uh, very beautiful. It kind of gives you that, like, imagery whenever you listen to her music. But you should totally go and check out her music and then also check out Thomas Sanders' content and, uh, check out any of the other, uh, vloggers that I've mentioned, as well as, uh, Jacksepticeye, Sean, or Felix, or Mark. And then to the last little part, I also, of course, follow a lot of musicians. Uh, I, of course, follow uh, Casey Musgraves. I love her. I follow Brendan Murray, who was actually on this year's Eurovision contest. We had to wa we watched um, part of the Eurovision contest in my uh, German class this year, and so I found out about him. And his voice is very, very unique, and you should definitely go and check him out. And then I would say that my number one uh, one that I follow for music channels would be Shawn Mendes. I love his uh, writing, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree that he's very like he's very he's fairly honest whenever he's writing. And then number two, I would say I'm a big fan of Hunter Hayes. I have been for the past few years. He was kind of the one that got me into uh, country, and yeah, he's got a lot of vlogs from a couple years back that he was doing like every single week um, and basically uh, he would post them every single Monday so I would come home from school and be so excited because it would make my Monday so much better and me I'm the type of person that when I get obsessed with a certain artist or start listening to one I want to learn more about them and whatnot and so that kind of happened with Hunter Hayes and such um, and then the third on my list would be James Arthur he recently um, got a lot of traction in the music world, I guess you could call it, uh, from his single Say You Won't Let Go, and he's very honest as well. Uh, I first heard about him a few years back. My sister and I started watching the show Sing It On, I think it was called, and uh, the group, the Nor'easters, sang a song of his uh, called, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called, but they sang a song of his, and then me and my sister looked into him, and his music is so good. He's got a song called Recovery. Uh, from a lot earlier on and that's an amazing song as well um, And then the next two on my list are Taylor Swift and Halsey Taylor Swift I've always been a fan of um, I, As I said in my I think I said this in my very first uh, Meet Me Monday episode I think I was talking about um, My background in music and whatnot and I mentioned that when I did like karaoke I would always sing Taylor Swift and love story. It was like my jam So I would sing that all the time and then I'm also, I also love Halsey's music. She's very real as well with her music and a lot of people judge her for how she writes sometimes and like her opinions, but she's very outspoken and I personally believe that that is very, very admirable. And yeah, she's, she's, an, she's a true artist, I believe. Um, and then the other, uh, the next one down my list would be Avi Kaplan. Uh, I love that he kind of went on his own path, I guess. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of like, well, Pentatonix is still going on or something, but everybody's doing their own thing, and then there's been controversy over, like, why Avi is starting his own music career when he was saying that the Pentatonix, um, schedule was too quick for him, but this is kind of, like, his way of being able to do his own thing, and I, I really love his new music that he's come out with. It's kind of more, like, the folk style that I love. Um, and the next down my list is Haley Reinhardt. She's uh, she's pretty cool. She was on American Idol a few years back, and I gotta find her. She just came out with her a new single called "Baby It's You." It's a cover of an old song by the Beatles and the Chavardiels. I can't remember exactly what that name was, but uh, she's very she's got a very 70s and 60s and 70s style. And um, I love I love older music, and so that really like kind of catches my attention. And then the last three on my list are Birdie, Alex and Sierra, and Pentatonix. Pentatonix was my last choice just because like 
I haven't listened to a lot of their music, although I have listened to a lot of their like Christmas music and whatnot. Um, and then uh, the next up is Alex and Sierra. I love their style and I love how they kind of make their covers their own, uh, which I kind of try to do as well. And then Birdie, she's uh, she's an amazing pianist and I just I, I love her her style as well. I'm kind of saying the same thing with all of these YouTubers, but I think it's just because I have a very big variety of who I follow and whatnot, and all of them have their own style and have their own trademark and whatnot, and so it kind of, like, leads into the different parts of me that are, like, all, like, uh, part of me is a gamer, or the big part of me is a musician, and another part of me is just I love writing and whatnot. Um, but yeah, those were all of the YouTubers, well, some of the YouTubers that I follow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too boring with me just babbling on about uh, YouTubers and whatnot. But you should definitely go and check out some of these different YouTubers that I've mentioned. And again, and as I always say, please leave a like or a dislike down below. Please leave a comment what you think or any covers I should do in the future. Or just any comments that you might have. And please subscribe so you can go back and see more music and learn a little bit more about me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.